Hej alla sammen, jag heter René och nu är jag tillbaka igen med norsk historiematerial. Så välkommen till min kanal. Jag har lagt en ny video till dig och den ska handla om att lära norsk med speak norsk. If you speak Norwegian, please let me know if I made any mistakes. I'm trying here. <laughs> I'm really excited to share this resource with you all. Since I won't be able to go to Norway yet again this year because Miss Rona decided to continue causing havoc all over the world and now she even brought her friends and family members along, you know, all these strains popping up all over the world, I decided to bring Norway to me. I know that sounds super cheesy, but it's true. I found this school called Speak Norsk. It's located in Oslo, Norway, but they also have online classes. I realized that I was having a lot of trouble. I was on the struggle bus and I was having problems with my pronunciation. I wanted some type of interaction with a teacher. So thank goodness I found Speak Norsk. I'm currently in the A1 level and I've been studying with Speak Norsk for about a month now. I really like all the teachers. I've been introduced to three. There's Johannes. He is full of energy and really expressive, so he definitely keeps me awake and engaged and just motivated to learn. By the way, I also really like his black Speak Norsk sweater. I wonder if I could buy it online somewhere on their website. Then there's Maria. She's pretty, she's like the model type, dresses really nicely, and she explains everything really well, especially when it comes to grammar. And last but not least is Davan. She's petite, I mean, she looks petite on camera, I'm not sure if she is, but she's petite and cute, and I wish I could just put her in my pocket and like take her, every, take her everywhere with me whenever I visit Norway, just in case I bump into some like language difficulties. I mean, I'm sure I won't need to once I finish the course because I'll be able to fend for myself, right? That's the goal. The first thing that jumped out at me right away was that the classes are in Norwegian, you know, so you're fully immersed. But don't worry, there are explanations in English. For example, Maria does an excellent job at explaining in both languages, so don't worry, you'll understand everything. And, but there are also other times when you know, you don't really need an interpretation or a translation into English because you can tell what's being said in Norwegian through context. Since the classes are in Norwegian, it's been very useful for me because like I said before, I was having a lot of trouble with pronouncing words. So for example, in Norwegian, a lot of the vowels aren't pure vowels like they are in Italian, Japanese, or Spanish. Because in those languages, A will always be A, O will always be O, I will always be E, and so on and so forth. But in Norwegian, that's not true. Or the, or the last consonant in a lot of words, for example, G's, V's, and D's, like in R, Higgly, and Tol. You know, I want to say Tolv, Higgelig and rød, but that's obviously wrong. Or for example, på skolen, I wanna say, I wanna pronounce that A as an A, but it's actually an O, and the O, I wanna say O, but it's actually a, a U, so. <laughs> Wrapping my head around all of that took some time, but luckily, like I said, since the classes are in Norwegian, I'm constantly listening to the teachers speaking in the target language, so you have no idea how tremendously it has helped. I'm enrolled in the A0 to B2 program. It's called the Viking Offer. I think the name is pretty cool. And it's a program that is designed for people who don't have previous knowledge and it will help you reach an advanced level. It's basically tailored for people and language nerds like myself who want to become fluent and confident with their language abilities. What I like the most about the program is that I can log in at any time or anywhere as long as I have my laptop, my laptop, my laptop and a good Wi-Fi signal. I can even wear my PJs to class if I wanted to. Since there are no set hours or dates for the classes, I can study whenever I want to and that's the cherry on top, right? So it all works around my schedule because the classes have been previously recorded and uploaded onto the platform. When you sign up, you will receive a book specific to that level and you can even reach out to any of the teachers whenever you have doubts or problems and they always answer back. All you have to do is type in your questions or concerns or comments into the comment section. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you lesson five so you can get a feel of what the program looks like and how it's structured. So this is Davan and she will be talking to us about question words. Let's take a look. Hi, 
Davan fra Speak Norsk. Velkommen tilbake. Uh, nå, nå, vi skal lære uh, om spørre ord. We will learn about spørre ord. Spørre ord er question words på engelsk. Ok, så vi har sju, sju spørre ord. Vi har sju spørre ord. Den første er hva. Hva means what. Vi bruker for ting. Som for eksempel, hva er grandiosa? Hva er grandiosa? What is? Hva er? What is? What is grandiosa? Hva er det? What is it? Det er pizza. Norsk pizza. Ok, vi bruker hva for verb også. Verb. Hva spiser du? Ok, så la oss pause det right der. And underneath every single one of these videos, you will usually find a document that supplements the video. So right here, we see that it is about question words, right? Just like the video. So, hva betyr å spørre? So we see here, hvem, hva, hvor, hvorfor, hvordan, når, and the different forms of hvilken, right? If it's masculine, vilken, feminine, vilken, neuter, vilke, and plural, vilke. So you will usually always find the written equivalent underneath the video. So now we can hit complete and continue to go on to the next page, which is another document with more examples of how to use each one of these question words in Norwegian. So we have va, used for things. Ting, hva er det? Hva er Google Classroom? Classroom? <laughs> For verbs. Hva spiser du nå? Hva gjør dere i morgen? Right? And so on and so forth. Hvem? Hvorfor? Hvor? The, the different ways you can use hvor. Hvordan? Hvilken? And so on and so forth. And here is the comment area where you can type in any concerns or questions you may have and just post it let's hit complete and continue and now this is my favorite part because you get to quiz yourself right so let's do a few of these together so here we have to fill in the question word so for example it says blank heter du jeg heter tor so the answer would be va right so this is a multiple choice quiz so it says blank Er du fra? Jeg er fra Norge. So it would be where, right? So hvor. I'm assuming that's what it is. Let's check it. Yep, it's correct. Let's go on to the next one. So blank. Er det? Det er, det er Alice. Or Alice, I don't know. Uh, so I assume it is who, right? So hvem. Hvem er det? Let's check it. Yes, correct. Blank heter hun, hun heter Rada. So, what, right? What's her name? Hva heter hun? Right. So here we have exercise three, opgave tre, which is fill in the blank. It's not multiple choice like the other one. So all we do is click on the link provided to us and a new tab should open up. So here we start the test. And this says, Jeg kommer fra Tunisia. So we have to choose the correct question. Um, so if, I, if that says I'm from Tunisia, I guess I would say, Hvor er du fra? Right? Let's submit it and we'll check it at the end. Jeg bor i Oslo. So, hvor bor du? Jeg jobber i en matbutikk. So again, where? Hvor jobber du? Next question. Jeg leser og slapper av. Hva? What do you do? Oh, and this is a little something that I want to mention. The special characters in Norwegian aren't available. So if, oh, if you don't have them on your, on your keyboard, like me, what you can do is open another tab and go to Google Translate, 
switch to English, choose your language pair, English and Norwegian. I usually just type in beer and to be, and you have the three special uh, characters, right? So we want to use this one since it's gjør. So va gjør du? If you don't use the special characters, I think you will get points taken off. So now let's check. Oh, 75. Okay, so hvor kommer du fra? Okay, uh, but I think you could also say uh, where are you from instead of where do you come from, right? Um, so yeah, it'll tell you if it's incorrect. And over here we answer the other ones correctly. There are midterms, which is another, this is where I am. <laughs> there are midterms in every single, right here you see, in every single level. And so you could quiz yourself. And there are also the slut test which sounds funny and if you look at it you will probably laugh right and it doesn't mean what you think it means it means a final exam so you click on it and it tells you click on the link and it will tell you how to go about taking the test right right here but we're not going to do that right now you just hit start and you also have the santala book which is the conversation book and there is one for every single level so you can see it says beginner right conversation a1 and these dialogues are sprinkled throughout but it's just nice to have them all in one place you know neatly organized so you don't have to go back to the sidebar over here and look for them you could find them all here the dialogues and the vocab lists so I think that's a really cool feature to have. And yeah, just let's take a look at the sidebar. Look how much there is. There's so much content, so much material. So yeah, I can scroll on forever and I'm not going to click on every single one of these because then this video will last 50 million hours. Okay, so here's level B. Like I said, I'm in the A0 to B2 program and I plan on making another video once I hit the B level or once I finish the course and um, yeah I'm really excited about that so stay tuned. As you just saw there is a ton of material that will last for months right the program is really well structured and planned out it is an excellent resource and I highly recommend it I definitely feel like I'm getting my money's worth and since I'm talking about money, let's look at the prices. You can opt for the A1 level or the A2 level, for example, and here are the payment options. Or you can even choose the bundle like I did, which is the intensive A0 all the way up to B2. And here are the payment options. I will say in the long run, I think it's cheaper to buy one of the bundles than it is to buy every single level separately. I won't include the conversion rates because I don't know where you live and conversion rates are ever changing. So I'll just leave it in the Norwegian Krønner. That's all for this video. I really hope it was useful, that it will help you in your language learning journey and that I motivated you in some way, shape or form to continue learning Norwegian or start learning Norwegian. I know Norwegian resources are hard to come by, but this is a an awesome resource and you won't be disappointed if you do choose to study with Speak Norsk. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Remember, sharing is caring. And subscribe to my channel for more language learning content. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down below and I will be more than happy to get back to you. I also left the link to Speak Norsk in the description box so you shouldn't have a hard time finding it. Jeg håper dere har det hyggelig å lære norsk. Tusen takk, og vi ses i neste video. Ha det bra!